Hello everyone and welcome back to another review video. Today I decided to do a review on this Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation. I bought this at beautymnl.com for 399 pesos. If ever you want to visit their website, I will put the link down below. So I got this in the shade Light Medium. So ito yung likod niya. And ito yung harap. Ayan yung packaging. Nakalagay lang siya sa tube. And this packaging actually contains 29.6 ml of the product. So what I found intriguing about this product is that it says cover all. So napaisip ako na baka hindi ko na kailangan mag-apply ng CC cream before I apply this on my face. Or baka hindi ko na makailangan mag-apply ng concealer kapag naglagay na ako nito. And that's what we're going to find out on this review. So this product claims that it is an all-day wear. It has a medium to full coverage. It is lightweight and has a satin matte finish. It reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. So we're gonna find that out later on this review. So my skin condition right now is first I have oily combination skin and then I also have a dark under eye circles but it's not that severe. And I also have darkness here around my nose area. Well, wala, wala naman akong breakouts ngayon. Wala naman pimples, large pores, very konti lang sa mga sides of my face. And I have an acne scar here on this side. I just don't know if you can still see that. So I already moisturized my face with my Myra E. Vita White Whitening Facial Moisturizer. So most experiences ko sa mga foundation is that right after I remove my makeup, napapansin ko my pores are clogged and then lalong nagkakaroon ng redness here on the sides of my nose. And so far, wala pa naman ako nabibiling foundation na hindi magkakos ng pag-clog ng pores ko or redness on the sides of my nose. That's why I bought this kasi gusto ko lang i-test if magkakos pa siya ng clog ng pores kasi I think I have sensitive skin. Well, hindi naman siya ganun ka severe but yun, kahit na ano makeup na ilagay ko sa face ko, after I remove my makeup talaga magkaklog yung pores ko. So, we will test this one out. So first, I will put some of the product here sa side ng face ko and then we will compare the coverage. So on this side of my face, I'm just going to use my fingers. Um, kapag gumagamit kayo ng fingers when applying your foundation, Make sure that your fingers are clean and sanitized. And then on this side of my face, I'm going to use a foundation brush. So let's start. Ayan, yung packaging. And then, actually, na open ko na to when I got my order. And napansin ko pa ka open ko sa kanya is that it doesn't have a seal. First, is that ang laki ng butas ng pinaglalabasan ng product. So. Wait lang, i-focus. Ah, may lumalabas na naman. And the consistency niya is thick. It has a thick consistency. Sa scent niya, medyo mild lang yung scent niya. Ah, may foundation siya, but mild lang yung scent niya. So, we're gonna try this out. First, First by dotting some of the product on my face. Where is my mirror? Oh man, it doesn't show on the camera, but in person it looks darker than my neck and my chest. And it also has a pink undertone, and I don't like that. That's the disadvantages, I think, when you buy a foundation online is that you cannot try it out, you cannot test it out, and then you can swatch. So, you can know if it has. A yellow undertone or a pinkish undertone but the good thing with this product is that it dries instantly that's why you have to blend it really fast and it's really matte it's not sticky at all it's just very comfortable para lang akong, para lang akong nag apply ng powder on my face So, ayan na siya on the first layer. For me, hindi siya ganun ka medium coverage. For me, it's just light. And, hindi masyado na cover yung imperfections ko under my eyes and on the sides of my nose. As you can see, pero okay lang din naman siya. So, I think with this foundation, I still have to conceal. But I'm not gonna do that here 
sa RV na to para makita talaga natin. It's very soft siya, so I think it has a light coverage, but we will see if it is buildable. So I will try to add another layer. Focusing on my dark under eyes, mostly sa middle area ng aking face. Oh my god, I look so pink right now. Or maybe it's just too dark for me. Kasi dun sa Beauty M&L, they only have three selections of colors. I don't know if yun lang talaga yung three selection ng shades ng Wet n Wild cover all cream foundation they have light light medium and medium so i picked la 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 so i picked the light medium and ganto siya now that i added another layer mas dig mukha siyang pinkish sa mukha ko i don't know if you can tell the difference i don't know if you can see that dapat pala yung light yung binili ko sayang i will not set it with any powder because it has a matte finish and it's really soft so I'm just gonna wait for it to melt on my skin and then I'll be back after I do my makeup. Hey guys, so a total of a total of 2 hours and 40 minutes have passed and this is what my foundation looks like right now. Yeah, so now that the foundation melted on my skin and medyo okay na siya sa sa skin tone ko, medyo nagmatch na, so that's a good thing. The only thing na concern ko is that it has a grayish tone but first i need to blot guys so i just have a facial tissue here and then we're going to blot because my nose is really oily and uh, but the good thing is that hindi siya nag crease or nag settle here on the sides of my nose although nag settle ng konti here sa left line ko Dyan. and medyo nag crease under my eyes okay so, ito, nagblat ako sa tissue and wala namang transfer yung foundation. So, that's a good thing. Wala naman siyang masyadong transfer. Just a little bit. Coverage, wise pa din. And also, one more thing, kaya nag mas nagmumukhang light yung foundation ko ngayon is because of the color or the shade of my lipstick that I'm wearing right now. By the way, yung appearance ng pores ko is hindi naman siya ganun kagrabe. Um, ang mapapayo ko lang sa inyo if ever gonna use this foundation and if ever na nag-oil up kayo, mag-blot kayo agad kasi mas nakahalata yung pores niya kapag oily yung skin niya. So I suggest na mag-blot agad kapag nag-sweat kayo sa face or nag-oil up na. Okay guys, so a total of 5 hours and 40 minutes have passed kasi nag-stop watch ako kanina. And actually, it's quarter to 6 na. And my face is extremely oily and sweating. So I'm gonna blot again with my facial tissue. So I finished blotting and kung mapapansin nyo or kung makikita nyo, wala nang, halos wala nang foundation on my nose. Kasi yung nose ko is yung pinakaunang part sa mukha ko na nag-oil up and nagsisweat. Kaya medyo wala na, konting-konting foundation na nung natira. Sa pores ko naman, hindi naman siya nag-clog. Well, pero... Medyo visible siya since nag-oil up na nga ako. So, we'll go back sa mga kiniklaim nitong Wet n Wild Foundation. First is All Day Wear. Well, I think if you are a person who doesn't have oily skin or oily combination skin, then pwede siya maging All Day Wear. Kasi kung hindi ka naman mag-oil up, then mag stain ng mas long-lasting pa yung foundation mo. Second, medium to full coverage, light coverage, and then buildable siya. And kapag nakapag-build ka na ng coverage, hindi siya yung mamumuo or magkikrease. And actually, natakpan naman niya yung imperfections ko or my dark under eye circles nung nag-add ako ng layer dito under my eyes and on the sides of my nose. Lightweight. Yes, it is lightweight. Talagang parang kahit ngayon, parang wala akong suot na makeup. It has a satin matte finish. Well, it has a matte finish, pero hindi ko masabi kung satin finish ba siya, unlike yung sa Maybelline Dream Satin. Yun naman kasi medyo may pagka dewy glow yun eh. But, but this one, ito kasi parang matte talaga siya eh. And that's what I like about this product. I like the coverage ng product nito. I like na buildable siya. And yung finish niya, although nag-dry siya guys, so you have to blend it talaga ng mabilisan. And then reduces the appearance of wrinkles. So, na-reduce niya yung appearance ng laugh line ko. 
and then yung mga iba pang lines ko under my eyes and on my forehead area. So, if I'm going to rate this product um, from 1 to 5, 5 being the highest, I would rate it uh, 3.5 kasi naging pinaka disadvantage lang naman niya is nagkamali ako ng pagpick ng shade and I don't like about it is pinkish yung undertone niya. So yun know naman 3.5 out of 5. Don't forget na I will also be doing a review video sa Pink Sugar It's Awesome BB Cream. Stay tuned to that. So that is it for this review video. I hope you found it somewhat helpful. If you have any other questions about this product right here uh, just leave your comments down below and I will do my very best to answer all your questions see you guys on my next video bye